Hi there. So this this is a, a sort of general introduction into the world of um, AI, um, uh, neural networks, that sort of thing. Um, specifically, Chat uh, GPT, uh, which is a sort of bit of a hot topic at the moment. And I'm not going to go in depth into the whole world of um, neural networks and machine learning and all that kind of thing, mainly because I don't understand it all. Um, but um, what, what I wanted to do is just show you how it could help in your kind of day-to-day -day GIS uh, work. Obviously, there's there's various projects out there doing things like extracting features from satellite imagery and aerial imagery and the like, um, and sort of detecting and counting certain features from imagery. And it, it, there's lots of things, predictive uh, leaks, uh, how, how to predict leaks in, in water networks. So there's lots of stuff like that. But I, I just wanted to give this sort of high level how, how, how can you just just generally gain access to to this sort of power and capability and how might it benefit you and your desktop day-to-day um, -day sort of requirements perhaps with um, ArcGIS Pro uh, or even QGIS um, mainly because I'm going to be asking GPT to generate Python for us so just a very quick um, sort of background here so, so we chat the GPT which um, uh, um, it stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. So um, that's what that GPT stands for. And yeah, I just I, I had to read that again because I always forget. Um, they should have called it something more catchy like, um, I don't know, HAL or <laughs> Skynet. Um, something more interesting. But any, anyway, um, so there's, there's lots of um, things uh, online. You can YouTube videos, other YouTube videos that really go into this and, and etc. But briefly... Yeah, there's, there's a non-profit organization called OpenAI. Uh, Elon Musk was on it, but I think he's he's pulled away now because of um, all the Tesla AI work. And But he's a kind of donor uh, amongst other um, people and groups. And um, and they've released GPT uh, and, um, and and you may, cross, uh, in my, it may come across in my other video, uh, DALI, um, which is the um, AI sort of image generator. So there's, there's a few sort of entry points into the world of AI and this one we're going to use is um, uh, GPT uh, Playground. Uh, so, so, so I, I am going to do this a bit freestyle actually um, so I kind of got an idea about what I'd like to do and um, so I'm gonna just just work along with that and, and hopefully come up with the sort of uh, real true to life sort of experience really and you can see see how I've got there. Uh, I'm just showing you this page because uh, I, I have signed up for use of this and there's quite a complex way of working out how much it costs to use this. You get a few freebies, um, of course you do, and I've, I've sort of set this $50 uh, dollar limit on, on using this system which you can sort of set in, in billing and, and settings and stuff. Uh, and I've only used what, what was that, 0 0.19 cents so far. And actually, I've used it quite quite a bit on various things. So it seems quite reasonable, really, to you know, to, to in terms of the cost when you start paying. And and if you're using it a lot, you will start paying. And and certainly, I'm, I intend to use this uh, a great deal. Actually, uh, just to go back, this is GPT three and um, uh, four will will be coming out whenever it's coming out, and it will just include more parameters. Um, I say just, but apparently it's going to be pretty substantial. But but we'll, we'll wait and see. So you need to get on uh, to uh, beta to get cracking beta.openai.com and um, sign up for account. Like I said, you'll get some free time, free um, sort of queries you can you can fire off. Uh, and there's a whole there's a whole kind of essay on on how that's charged and how how that works out, etc. etc. So you know just just read the documentation to be quite honest. Um, but, and there's examples obviously about what to do but we're going to go straight to this thing called the playground so I just I've got this open all, all, already so let, let, let's just let's, let's just you know get get cracking with with something so you can immediately see what happens here so I've got this this big open window yes it's prompting me to you see how it says write a tagline for an ice cream shot I mean you can type in anything really now there are presets I'm just going to leave it as such um, with no no sort of preset. But you can see there are things like natural language, so Python and and and, and sort of Q and A type thing and all, all this sort of thing. So depending on the kind of work approach, there's also models 
Uh, again, look them up. Um, that there's on the left here, you can see the sort of strengths or, or indeed weaknesses of, of particular models. And I just leave it on GPT three um, for uh, um, I leave it on DaVinci three for, for for this, and um, seems to you know be pretty good. I, I don't really um, I, I haven't done any tests with all the all the other ones, but I know with the Codex, for example, some people like to use those for things like JavaScript. But you know, and and on top of that, there's all these other settings um, which I I don't I haven't really changed or, or played with. But uh, um, but I probably will eventually. Um, but let, again, let's let's just get cracking. How, how how can I I generate code out of this? Well, I could say something. Well, create um, hello world uh, function in Python. Um, let's submit that. And there you go. It's come up with the whole thing. And um, looks pretty good. You just call the function, no parameters passed, and and that will um, print hello world. That's pretty good. Let's let's um, let's just try that. Can I just say literally? I'm going on the fly here. So um, uh, do the same, but it returns a string value. Okay, okay, nice, nice, yep. Yeah. Um, so um, that's precisely what I wanted, that's cool, that's cool. You see how it, it created the, the function definition there, which I just said print hello world and it's done that, um, and then in Python. And then I said do the same. So you see how it's all context driven, it, it knows where you are, what the context is. I think that's one of the big updates in GPT-4, it, it can really take more of that sort of um, context on board. And um, lots of other, I think it's like 500 parameters more or something. But anyway, um, and then I said, well, look, do the same. So it understood that, but returns a string value. And, and there you go. Um, so that's pretty. Um, how about um, do the same, um, uh, do the same code, but in JavaScript? Um, you can hit regenerate. Uh, you can submit that and it's it sort of take that um, single line because it's got that sort of thread open with all these things beforehand or it can regenerate the whole thing. I'll just do a submit. Let's see what it does now. Ooh. Okay. Well, there you go. Function. Um, very simple. I know it's hello world, but let's face facts. Come on. We've got to always start with hello world with anything. It's traditional. Um, so I said, do the same thing and turn. So it, so it, yeah, okay. So it does. Uh, it's repeated basically the whole, all of those steps, including returning um, that um, hello world string. So um, using the console. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, all right. So hopefully you get the idea, and and I can carry on and and you know um, and play around like that. But I'm just going to get rid of all that. Let's actually do something useful. Here, here we are in the um, good old Arches Pro and I, I want to generate some Python that's actually going to be of use. So what I'm thinking is if we look at all these pubs in Leicester and there's quite a few. Uh, if you watch my videos a lot you're gonna get pretty used to pubs in Leicester. Um, it's the open stream data. Now the centre of Leicester, which is sort of roughly where my mouse pointer is, um, what I want to say is I want to work out the bearing, and actually I've 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 recorded in Leicester X and Y, the centre of Leicester X and Y, um, the um, latitude and longitude. It's all the same, of course. I could um, you know generate that on the fly, of course, but I've I've written it into the table, and I've got the lat long for all these pubs. So what I want to say is what's the bearing? From this point, the Baker's Arms here in Leicester, what's the bearing of the city centre? You know, where, where, where is it from the um, bearing point of view? You can do that manually. If you're going to measure, you can um, measure direct direction distance. And um, if you click on that, you can then click on your point and do that. So that's a direction of uh, 35 degrees. And obviously, you know, Straight up there, you'll, you'll get to zero. There we go. There's zero. Um, but to the center, it's um, so from that one, 
it's uh, yeah, sort of thirty five degrees or whatever. So I can do that. I can do this manually. Um, so what actually, what actually was that? Um, was that far up anyway? So it's thirty three Kank Street. So okay. Uh, which one's this though? Which is that Baker's Arms? Let's just zoom to that. That's that one. Whereabouts is the center of Leicester? Because I want to do, you know, as a test, I want to sort of check stuff. Oh, that's, that's a, a, a sort of bit out, really. Let's do measure, direction, distance. Let's click there. And this center is. The centre, so it's roughly it's going to it should turn out for uh, Baker's Arms at uh, something like um, it's only 15 degrees, so it's 15 degrees uh, on a bearing of 15 degrees for Leicester. You press escape to get rid of that tool. If you don't know that tool, that's very, it's very useful, it gives a distance and a direction. So now that's great manually, indeed, there's stuff in the toolbox we can use. Um, but I, I all, what I want to do is get the AI to do this sort of calculation for me. So, how about working out the distance first of all? As, um, so let's just go back to my playground. Let's do, um, uh, actually it was the, it was the bearing, so uh, um, we'll do the bearing first. Distances, that's too easy. So calculate the bearing. Um, from two pairs of um, WGS format coordinates in Python. So that's my question I want to ask. I, uh, I mean, and I'm specifically, I'm, you know, I want to, I want to pick that up really. Um, that it's WGS co coordinates. Um, in fact, I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to say 84. Like I said, I haven't tried this before. Um, you know, let's let's see what it does. Submit. Okay, so it's importing maths. It's defining that. Okay, okay. I mean, I, I'm I'm not really going to spend much time in sort of you know getting rid of bugs. I'm I'm going to copy and paste, but I'm going to um, sort of. Uh, redo that and say do the same as a function so i.e just give me a death i should have said that right at the beginning really It'd be interesting if it carries out with the same uh same code it certainly looks the same yeah it looks the same. So, so it seems pretty happy with that code so we've got this def. Well, how good is it? Let's copy it all. Um, actually, I'm I'm going to slightly alter that. Uh, no, I'm not. Sorry, there's return bearing. Sorry, I, 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 it was returning it. That's, I didn't see that at first. So I'm going to take that code because down here you see it's done an example, which is pretty um, pretty neat. Let's copy this. Let's move that out the way. Let's go to AI result and go to calculate field. So we're in calculate field. Um, now, so we want to populate AI result using Python. So let's go to the code block. We'll paste that in. Yep. So we just pasted that in straight off. Um, I'm going to leave that all as in. So you've got lat one, long one, and lat two, long two. So we need to go from x, oh, sorry, and y, and then to lat, no, 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 done that wrong, haven't I? Done it wrong, done it wrong. I want to go from, because I've got Leicester X and Y in there, haven't I? X and Y is actually a British national grid. That's one thing, we'll, we'll, we'll get it to swap those over. So we'll do um, lack and long. And then we'll do less to x and less to y. So we'll pass those four into this. What it's generated, I don't know if it's right or not. We're going to soon find out. And press OK. 
dun 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 and oh have I uh oh schoolboy error sorry about that sorry about that what am I like so we need to say get bearing Calculate bearing. I didn't even call it. Um, I just had those fields. Um, so lat long x y. So we'll have a comma between them. <laughs> okay, so. I only had that one record selected, so you know it's warned me about that anyway. So, but I just wanted to do it on that one. So AR result. So it thinks it's twelve point six degrees, roughly, almost thirteen. Um, so um, let's just press OK on that. So what that that was the Baker's arm. So it says thirteen degrees on that Python calculation from AI. Let me just. Um, Go to that record again. Let's just pan. I thought it's more like 15 actually, but it's in that clump, isn't it? So let's go to measure distance direction. Well, I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's looking pretty good actually. I mean, if we go, I think it's. Uh, why is it? it says it's 13 so yeah okay that's pretty I mean that, that seems that seems seems correct so let's just get rid of the um, selection go back to AI result calculate field and I'm gonna so it'll run it on the whole um, thing oh, 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 oh I did calculate geometry then didn't I Be all not calculate geometry. So, so to confirm, all I've done is it's now going to run it on the whole thing. There's no selection um, on this. So to do, I've just um, the Python code block is just calling calculate bearing, which don't forget was uh, generated by AI. I didn't run this. I mean, this is the first time I've, I've sort of done this. I was working out my other one manually before. Um, and that's actually why I started using this to, to try it out myself. And then um, uh, passing the four parameters because it needs that sort of start X and Y and then going to X and Y. Uh, and uh, and I'd stored them in there um, so I could pick them off. Separated by comma. Um, and then you can press the tick, tick to sort of validate, make sure it's OK, expression is valid. If I press OK, now it's going to update the whole thing. There you go. So these are all degrees. Um, uh, from from the pub to the center of Leicester. Now I could, you know, I could do stuff like, you know, put a, put a floor on, or, you know, you know, or, or or whatever to to round off all those numbers. But I'm I'm not gonna mess about with that at the moment. But that that's pretty good. Let me um let's bring back this. So um. It's quite interesting. So, how about how about uh, what about the direction? Yeah, how about how about the direction? So, um, create a Python um, um, no, calculate. I am thinking about how to word this. Definitely, it's probably it's probably easier. You can probably be more more sort of natural languages. But I am trying to. I suppose I am trying to help it out as much as possible. So calculate the compass direction from a given bearing as a Python function. Okay, Let's submit that. Could regenerate actually and do the whole thing, but you know. So I wanna know like the cardinal, you know, Northwest and uh, stuff like that. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay. 
So 22.5, yeah, because you need um, two of those for, um, okay, okay. So it's just broken it down. I'm, I'm gonna hit regenerate, you know. I'm wondering if it's gonna, see how it's done this sort of big else if. I mean, there are other ways of doing it. It's perfectly respectable. I'm gonna regenerate. Oh, sorry, wrong button. You can see the history, which is pretty good. That's a, that's definitely, you see this uh, sort of clock here. You can, um, that's, that's, that's pretty handy. Actually, I should have um, showed you one other button on this. So I'm regenerating the whole lot. Okay, it's kind of um, doing it. Um, the, the thumbs up. Yeah, useful completion. So if you put, do a thumbs up, thumbs up to them, that will help them with their sort of training and the models and stuff. So um, I'm going to I'm going to do the same, but use a different method. I'm just wondering if that works. This is fine, but I, I would you know I don't know I'd do it slightly. Use some kind of array and index and ah, you see, mm, that's pretty yeah, that's pretty interesting. So. Um, so I, you know, I said do the same, but use a different method. So it's come up with a different uh, way of doing that, which um, uh, that's pretty good actually. How about calculate the distance between two pairs of British coordinates? Do it this way around. Okay, so oh, okay, so it's presumed in Python. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't actually write in Python, did I? Um, so import math. You've got some coordinate one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So it's got six digits. It's just doing a straight bit of math there, getting the square root. Um, oh, okay, yeah, same as a function. Yep, yep, I, I was. I did ask for a function to be created, so that's pretty good actually. Um, that looks that looks um, sort of fair enough. Um, how about do the same in JavaScript? Maybe I'm making an open layers app. Let's see what that does. So it should do the distance calculation for British National Grid coordinates, but in Java, so it's function calculate distance. Net distance equals return distance. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean it looks looks valid. So okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there because you, you could go on forever with this, and um, there's a tiny fraction of cost um, of, of a dollar for each one of these. So yeah, just um, have have a play. I hope that helps you sort of get things gets the ball rolling. I, I think um, GPT still got uh, a bit of a way to go. Um, but I think when four comes along, it'll be very interesting. And I can actually see this um, replacing Google, really. Um, it, it's, it's, it's interesting stuff. And I've, I've only absolutely just, just touched on the capabilities, you know, about giving it much more um, complicated things to sort out. Um, but as you can see, the key things about context, it, it knew all along, you know, what I was sort of working on. I was working in Python and all this sort of thing. I didn't even load a preset, it, it, you know, so it knew that. And uh, yeah, I hope you find that useful. Um, thank you very much.